Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a general reading about moon wishes. So what I'm going to be doing is each lunar cycle, which today is the waning moon, which is about cleansing and clearing and letting go and releasing. And I'm going to answer questions such as uh, your current energy, moon advice, what happens if you follow the advice, what should you let go of, and then energy after following the advice. What you currently see and what's being zoomed in on is the uh, layout for the reading for the winner of the, um, the tarot giveaway. She chose to do the uh, spirit guides layout, so we're going to be doing that, but there are going to be uh, timestamps pinned in the comments. Decks are in the description box. There is a, a link for Instagram for free layouts, as well as Fiverr and Etsy and a kick group and Facebook is starting to take off a little bit. So on my channel, if the camera zooms in, then I will go ahead and pull a clarifier. This is the deck we're using for clarifiers today. We also have what's in the box. So at the end of the video, I will go ahead and uh, open that and show you what's in the box. And then you'll be able to use your intuition Sorry about the messy blanket. Avery was hanging out there, so I love it when he comes into videos. So he's not there now, though. Maybe he'll come later. So we do have a separate reading that's being done, but I'm going to do this one first so that she can have her uh, reading. I really do appreciate all of you who entered, people who have been subscribing to the channel, uh, people who are excited about the Yes, No, Maybe cards, which are going to be the next giveaway. And I also have a couple of people who I'm working with. We're going to do some kind of like uh, co collaboration giveaways. So I'm really excited. So don't forget to hit the bell and like and subscribe so that you can get all that information. All right, so let's go into the free reading here. This is your message from your spirit guides. It came up as the king of earth or king of pentacles. Generous, professional, responsible, practical, a successful time, confidently accepting opportunities you're offered, and the Midas touch. So the message from your spirit guides is that you're going to have things that come along that are going to give you answers. You do have an animal spirit guide that is a lion. This lion has been working with you, and you're going to start seeing them more often. It's a specific lion who is actually very young. This lion is growing with you, so it's not a full-grown lion. It's uh, very playful, and you're really being guided to kind of look around your life and find the like encouraging things and exciting things, things that make you happy. If it makes you happy, that's the thing you're going to want to do because you have the Midas touch, so everything you touch when you follow that lion is going to work out for you. So a warning from your guides is showing up as the six of fire or the six of wands, which is victory, good news is on its way, and public recognition or award. So a lot of times people think of warnings as like a really bad thing. Warnings can also be like the gas light coming on in your car, like, hey, you need to get some gas. The reason that the warning of victory is um, coming up from your guides is because they don't want you to get uh, an inflated ego. You have a lot of power. Uh, they showed me a lot of things. Um, you have a lot of psychic abilities. You're just starting to connect to them. There's some things that have been happening that you're not quite sure if it is what you think it is, but they have given the message that it is. You are powerful. And the warning is just like, hey, you know, keep a level head. The things that you see are coming true. Things that you are creating are, are happening because you have that Midas touch. So their warning is basically like, you know, don't get an overinflated ego with the things that you're doing. Be sure that you're doing them for the collective and to serve the collective and raise, you know, consciousness and awareness. And then you'll keep continuing to be blessed. Encouragement from your guides is coming up as the five of air, or five of swords, an unwise choice, learning what you can from this situation and review everyone's motives. So there are situations that you're in right now because you're awakening that are going to be coming to a close. These situations are like friends who have been hanging around you that are just all of a sudden kind of not interested in hanging around you anymore. 
Uh, you're going to see that people are maybe a little bit boring to you. You're not going to have the same uh, connection that you did to people from before. But your angels are really letting you know that reviewing everyone's motives, the encouragement with that is then you're going to be surrounded by people who you know without a doubt are supposed to be there. So then this is how to connect with my spirit guides is pulling up the sun and the sun is the happiest card in the deck. So that didn't really zoom in on one specific one. Um, that is the happiest card in the deck. So they're really letting you know, Hey, happiness is the goal. Um, and it, the sunflowers really stand out to me too. So just surround yourself with things that are, you know, bright and sunny and happy, like just be happy right now. And you will, by following that happiness, find exactly what you're looking for. So the universe has your back. The card says my, ha <laughs> my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. I love it when I was like just saying something because I don't look at the cards. I just, um, pre-shuffle them just for time. So your happiness, this is what this is about. You have the sun card that's about happy. You're this, the moon has your back card. So then um, I gave as an extra, just as a thank you for your support, I pulled a yes, no, maybe card for you. So I'm going to give you the opportunity to kind of think of the question. So five, four, three, two, and one. It says yes, by all means, when it's when you know it's right, you can use any means necessary to fulfill your dreams. And then the clarity card that came up with that because of the because of it zooming in, it says uh, seven of air, which is seven of swords, plans that need revision, more going on than meets the eye and poor timing. So I feel like whatever this yes, no, maybe question is, it's definitely time to uh, let go of control of that situation. It's very interesting as well because you have five, six, and seven on the ground. You are, you don't have any swords. No, wait, I'm sorry. You have swords, swords, one. You don't have any cups, so there's not really much emotion involved in this situation. Um, so you're doing a really good job of keeping level-headed. Yeah, keep, keep happiness as your primary uh, goal. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. Thank you for entering the, uh, the giveaway. It was excellent to see how many people joined, and I appreciate you letting me read for you. Okay. So this next little spot here is for the people who chose the white train. So while I shuffle, I'm going to give you some information. So for the moon wishes, what you would do is you would come up with something that you think might be a little bit of a stretch, but you could, it's still believable that it could happen. So for an example, I'm using the idea that I want to have 1000 subscribers on my channel. So then I'm going to show you how I kind of keep track and what I do. So in this situation, I'm going to say that the wish is that I would have a thousand subscribers on my channel. The reason I chose that wish is because, you know, I've been getting like six or seven people a day and it's really starting to gain momentum. So I really feel like it's plausible, but I need a little bit of faith to see it happen. So then current energy, moon advice, what happens if you follow the advice, what you should let go of, and then what your energy will be after you have followed the advice. So what the change from this energy to this energy will be with these cards in the middle. So the current energy is pulling up as walking away. So I feel like for a lot of you, this is something that you really have just started out on. It may be that you had tried a path that just hadn't been working anymore and you decided to go on another one. So your current path, I mean, it's pretty clear your, your current energy, excuse me, is just like, there's no looking back. I've walked through the gate. I'm done with this. I want it to be different. I want to go in this new direction with what I want. And my, uh, I have a really good friend and she was talking about how, cause I have been making different decisions in my life. I have been walking away from situations that weren't serving me or walking to things that were, and you know, she said, when we start making different choices, it's like we're driving our car in a place that we've never been. 
So some of you are trying something completely different and there's a little bit of fear that can kind of come with that, but you have resolved yourself to just keep going down that path. So then the moon advice says, don't let your past hold you back. So yes, you're walking away, but don't look back and say, oh, well, I can't be in another relationship because the last person hurt me, or I can't start another company because the last time I did, I you know, pestered all my friends and they got upset with me. Like, don't let your past hold you back from this new situation because that's the same thing about driving your car, you know, in a different spot. You're going to end up going to a different spot because you're driving in a different direction. Okay, so I'm just going to pull the clarifier since that. I just pop right out. Okay. So then this one is what happens if you follow the advice? Shows up as the strength card. Excellent. Uh, good inner, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. And I think that, that kind of goes with some of that walking away and don't let your past hold you back. There has to be forgiveness and compassion, and sometimes that forgiveness and compassion is for yourself. So you made decisions in the past, and... Don't let that be like, oh, well, I can't trust that per. I can't trust a person again because there was too much pain last time. Or I can't invest in this because I lost my money last time. Or, you know, I can't invest in this person because the last person stole from me. Like, don't make a choice for this wish that's going to be bait. Like, you can't make the same wish based on the past that you've been making over and over again. You have to make some changes. What to let go of is showing up as the Nine of Swords. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. So one of the things to let go of, when you are going into a situation and you're holding on to it, you're like, I, this has to work. This has to work. This has to be the time that I get my dream. This has to be the time my wish comes through. Really, there's a difference between holding on to something like a kite string and holding on to something like you're trying to pull a fish in. So you can be led by the process and you can kind of, you know, not giving up, but you're not fighting and into resistance of what's currently happening. So for some of you, if your wish is to have a million dollars, then you open your checking account and you're like, see, I only have seven bucks. My wish didn't come true. So what's happening in that is you're letting your fear of the past, you're letting your past experience hold you back. It's saying, oh, there's always only been $7 in my account, so there will never be a million dollars. Like You are writing your own experience. You are writing the play. If you walk around saying, I'm so poor, that stuff never works. I'm so poor, that stuff never works. Well, it literally is working. You just think it's, it's magic. I'll just say... Oh, I want a million dollars. Well, if you don't have the energy to hold a million dollars, let's say you say, oh, I want a boat. And then there's no water for the boat to go in. Do you really have faith? Like, but if you like move to where water is, cause you know, a boat is coming. Do you have faith? Like your actions are also part of it. So then this part is what is my energy after following the advice? It comes up as patience. That's awesome. And the clarifier for that was the four of pentacles, being too cautious or frivolous with money, good business decisions, or giving to those less fortunate. Let's pull up that second clarifier because I feel like there's two groups here. All right, so the second group got the six of swords. Things are looking up the end of a difficult situation and uh, taking a trip. So a lot of times too in um, in tarot, taking a trip doesn't necessarily mean like getting in a, in a car and driving somewhere. It can mean this walking away trip. It can mean a, a um, spiritual journey rather than a physical journey. But you're going to be led. Some of you are going to be led down the path of starting your own business and or maybe even starting a, a charity, you're going to be doing something where you're helping people with their physical needs. And then for the people who are more drawn to the six of swords, this is about um, 
things going exactly where you want them to go. It's about feeling like you've been led to go right where you're supposed to be. So the only thing that's not in this uh, reading, I don't see any cups, so there's not a lot of emotion that's really involved in this, which is good because I feel like that's why you're in this walking away energy. And once you have walked away completely from the situation that was no longer serving you, then you will find yourself in a place of patience. So what I'm going to do right now so that you can write this down and keep track of what was on the the last one, because we're going to be keeping track of how this progresses, we have uh, walking away, don't let your past hold you back, strength, Nine of fire, six of air, patience, and last of all, we have the four of earth, which is the four of pentacles. Now, what you'll do is you'll write this down on your paper, just, you know, labeled one to four, and that will allow you to be able to keep track of everything. I'm also taking a photograph right now so we can put this on... Uh, Instagram so people can see it on there as well. Okay, so that is for the people who were in the first group, which was the train. I'm really looking forward to seeing how your manifestation unfolds. If you feel comfortable putting it in the comments, you can put, you know, what you're kind of looking at or what your wish is, and you can watch as each, um, time we do a reading for each part of the lunar cycle you can see how it progresses. I will say that sometimes my uh, lunar wishes it's about three months between when I do the first when I start doing the readings and when uh, I start to see things um, start to manifest so it's not going to be instantaneous. Right. Well, this is for the group who chose the word laugh. I'm just kind of shuffling up the cards. These are what we're using as clarifiers, and these are what I use as clarifiers in the last reading. So I also want to kind of give you a little bit of an idea of what we're doing. So we are doing Moon Wishes by Lunar Cycle. So you're going to want to write down your cards and keep track of what came up for you in your reading because each time the moon... Uh, changes phases I'll be putting the next part up so like for currently my lunar wish is to have a thousand subscribers so I am doing the things that I feel led by uh, my guides when you know an idea comes up or something seems interesting I follow that and get more information so we have your current energy about your wish which is the magician and the mirror which is awesome because the magician and the mirror is like the ultimate alchemy where not only are you creating in your own life you're creating in the lives of people around you so you have a really powerful magic energy right now which is awesome so your moon advice is bring love into the situation so you know sometimes when we have these awesome ideas it's really important that the success of those ideas is a loving idea because that's going to be carried further and complete more than just the uh, basis of like building a business or starting a relationship the more love you can add into the mix the better what happens if I follow the advice is pulling up as awakening looking at things from a different perspective a temporary standstill and it's important to be yourself so this is the hanged man in the Ryder Wyatt deck so you really have the opportunity in this to see things that other people need and when you're able to see things that other people need, you're going to be able to meet that need. So if you start looking at other people and saying, oh, what could make that person's life easier? You might find that you, you know, invent something that makes other people's lives easier, easier and they will want to pay for that. I really feel like this group is wanting to create finances or, or business is what this energy feels like. So what to let go of is the queen of water, tenderhearted, empathetic, patience, loving, relationship, developing a new level, trusting your intuition and caring for yourself and others. And I really feel like what you're supposed to be letting go of is not necessarily a matter of like, throw this away, it's trash letting go of, but more in the idea of like, 
okay, this is the path. I have to go down this path. I have to do it this way. If I do it this way, then the internet said this will work. And if I, I read this book and this guy said that, like you're not following your intuition in this situation. And so you're kind of missing out on some of the really big opportunities because you're not letting your higher self guide the whole thing. So basically let go of control. Which is really interesting because I'm also hearing the, you know, go with the flow. Life is flow. You are emotional about this and you are passionate about it. But it's something where the more you can let go of it, the easier it's going to flow into your existence. So the energy after following the advice is the temple path. Wow, which is 1212, if that's something that's um, important to some of you, 1212. So the temple path is really about like the spiral that is being a human it's like trying things new it's going forward in the opportunities it's really about being able to see different ways to be prosperous so if you're going in a spiral you're basically getting all the different ways to look at something you know what i mean so i'm pulling the card for the clarity on awakening and that showed up as the nine of wands which is about don't give up like you have an idea. It says protect that which you've created. So you have an idea. You haven't really been talking about it a lot. Um, some of you are kind of worried about judgment from other people. And so you're not telling people because you're kind of thinking, oh, well, or, there's not a, a large group of you, but there is, is maybe one or two specific people. I just heard someone think, oh, well, if I do that, people are going to think I'm just trying to make money. And the crazy part about it is, is that money is energy. You're just trying to create energy. If some people particularly hand you money for whatever you did, cool, money came to you. Some people might, you know, barter with you and help you write a book or you help them write a book. Like you, as long as you're bringing love into the situation and everybody has a, a an equal part in this, that's where that, that swirl of the temple path comes in, you're going to be very successful in creating your moon wish. So I'd love to hear what it's about and go ahead and like and comment and share and subscribe and, you know, let's see what you're trying to create. I think that would be very interesting. Okay. So this is for the people who chose the Aries um, pendant. I'm going to go ahead and just shuffle these cards because I used some of them for clarity cards in the last reading and I wanted to get the energy for the people who have just joined us. So what we're going to be doing is uh, doing readings for your lunar wish, um, lunar manifestations, moon wishes, whatever you want to call them. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up with a wish. For me personally, my wish is to have a thousand subscribers. So what I do when I kind of do readings is I ask my higher self and my guides to give me information that I need that will help me with getting my, my wish or my my thing that I want. So the way that you would kind of start this reading is you're going to get out a pen and a paper and you're going to write at the top what your wish is. And then you're going to want to keep track of what the, um, the cards are for your particular reading. And then at the next lunar cycle, we will go ahead and, which will be the new moon, we'll go ahead and we'll start with that one. The reason I started on the waning moon is because it's about cleansing and clearing and letting go and releasing. So a lot of you, that's what you're doing right now. So I just kind of wanted to give you the benefit of starting a lunar cycle with that energy. So we have your energy, moon advice, what happens if you follow the advice, what to let go of, and energy after following the advice. Okay, so your current energy is pulling up as strategy. Excellent. So for some of you, you've already started planning, and that's why the idea of a wish coming true really helps you, because for some of you, you have a strategy, but you're like, oh, but I just need this one piece. I just need the money. I just need the idea. I just need the person supporting me. I just need permission. I just need, like, there's a lot of you who are just on that last little piece, I feel, that shows this group. So then uh, moon advice is coming up as work through your fears. Wow. You know, for some of you, that piece that's blocking you that feels like, oh, it's just the money is actually the label that you have been putting on the fear. 
So let's, uh, for me, with my thousand subscribers, um, I don't really have anything blocking me from that. So give me one second while I think of it. Um, oh, I know. At the beginning, I was like, oh, people aren't going to find my content interesting. Or what if my readings aren't accurate? Or, you know, what if people post in the comments that I have a horrible voice? Or, you know, just different things that block you because they're your fears. And I, my strategy was I started giving readings to people in groups and just testing myself out while I gained that confidence. So whatever your little piece is that you're trying to say, this is my last thing that I need, try and see if you can find the fear that surrounds that piece so that you can loosen that fear and see where that takes you. So what happens if you follow the advice is pulling up as the eight of pentacles, skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic and going back to school. That's excellent. That really does fit because I feel like some of you, some of you are starting Etsy shops. Some of you want to go to craft fairs. Some of you have been like making different like candles and oils and you're really working on some type of skill, but you're uh, some of you who are making the oils and the things that people are going to eat. You're like, Oh, what if I do it wrong and somebody gets sick or do I need to have this thing? Or like, there's just a lot of fears that are, that are coming through. But if you follow the advice of letting go of that fear, you're going to find the skill you've needed. And for a lot of you, that skill you needed has just always been there. You just didn't trust it. So what to let go of is showing up as a 10 of cups, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met and trustworthy relationships. I feel that some of you, this letting go of this part is the idea of people aren't trustworthy. I can't get help from other people. I can't really tell them what I'm doing because I don't want people to steal my ideas. My family doesn't really support me. They don't see my vision. I can't really tell them because the last time I told them what I wanted to do, they laughed at me. Okay. So, um, so I was kind of channeling some of your thoughts. So what, what to let go of is the idea that you have to make everyone else happy. Uh, what to let go of is the idea that if you follow your dreams, other people can't have theirs. There's more than enough to go around. There's abundance. It's very plentiful. There are a lot of customers. For some of you, very few of you, you have a friend who's doing what you want to do and you kind of feel like you're going to be more successful than them and you're afraid of like hurting them. And you will be inspirational. If, if you go into the situation feeling that you're going to be an inspiration rather than a... Um, means of them being jealous of you, you're going to give off the energy of, of both of you being successful. So then the energy after following the advice goes into adjacent possibilities. So you have like an idea of what you're trying to build and what's going to happen. And a little bit of you are kind of watching what other people are doing. And so you're like, oh, well, this is what happened for you know, Mary Susan, and it worked out great for her. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. What's Mary Susan doing? And the thing is, if you are going to go into this whole situation as you, you are going to do far more things. And you're like, so right, you're thinking, okay, well, Mary Susan, she made this doll, and it made her $100. And I'm going to do exactly what Susan does. I'm going to go through that door. Well, then what about all these other things? What about the big thing here where, you know, it's in, it, you, you open your own store and you become like the Louis Vuitton of, you know, teddy bears or something. Like you don't want to limit yourself because there are a lot of possibilities. So your strategy right now is kind of small for whatever you're trying to build because you need to work through your fears. But the good thing is that when you work through your fears and, you know, believe that you don't have to make other people happy and that you can, you know, already know a lot more than you know, or realize, you know, you're going to be very happy with the success that you achieve. Excellent. I would love to hear what you're trying to build. What's your, what do you have going on? And I'm really interested in that. Don't forget to like and share and comment and subscribe and all the wonderful things you can do on YouTube. And now it's time for what's in the box. So I'm going to open this in five, four, three, two, and one. And what is in the box is the word friend. Thank you guys for being my friends.